doesn't come up sometimes because she's like the mom and she doesn't want to like show that she wants to participate in fun activities. <laughs> it's 6.45 in the morning. It's amazing. I highly recommend it so far. I'm only on page 65, but on page 64, it says, the number one question I'm asked about setting boundaries is, how can I set one without feeling guilty? My immediate thought is, you can't. I know, I know, I'm a therapist. There must be something I can do to make boundaries guilt-free, but nope, there isn't. What I can do is help you deal with your discomfort. Coping with discomfort is a part of the process of establishing a boundary. I usually don't read the book for this long. It's already 8.50, 8.50 in the morning. The chapter I just read was uh, confronting. We read for a little bit longer today, which is great. Then what I do is, so I've been starting to do this like morning and evening journal, and it's only supposed to be like a few minutes, um, but there are basically different tabs that you can journal about, and it gives one page for the morning, one page for the night. And there's like gratitude, mindfulness, self-care, balance, and productivity, and then a space for notes. But the reason that I take a longer time is because I'll usually do like multiple things. I think you're only supposed to do one, like either pick gratitude for the day or pick mindfulness for the day, etc., etc. But I usually will do like all of them. <laughs> so it takes a bit longer, but I think it's more helpful. And if I have the time, I mean, if I don't have the time, I will pick and choose. But if I have the time, then I like to do as many of them as I can. Babies. Hi, sweetie. So lively. You guys can see her. She's like peeking right here. Let me. <laughs> Come on, Miss Girl. Miss Girl. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> so for this video. I was inspired recently by, you know, the whole aesthetic where it's like that girl. I had been wanting to do something like that for a while, like a video where I'm trying to be like that girl, having that routine and things like that. But you know what? I am that girl. Like I am that bitch. I'm kind of killing it. I'm gonna have a routine. Like I'm gonna show you guys a routine that makes me feel like that girl instead of trying to do the actual that girl routine. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you my that girl routine specifically. And the reason I'm calling it like the that girl routine is because I took a lot of inspiration from seeing other that girl routines. <laughs> I never wanted to actually like copy one of those routines. I want to make one for my own. I feel like I don't want to really say like that girl because you can be any gender and totally embody this aesthetic. But I feel like that girl is the aesthetic. It can be any gender to be that girl, you know what I mean? I feel like the that girl aesthetic is really big on just kind of putting yourself first and taking care of yourself and my babies. So you can be any gender to put yourself first. Right? <laughs> I gotta strip this bed to wash my sheets because that girl 
has clean, freshly washed sheets. Because something that I have learned is that I never put myself first. <laughs> never. By embodying this aesthetic, it's all I'm gonna do is put myself first and my cats. But something that I've learned about myself is I just don't put myself first because I'll view like doing self-care and putting myself first as bad. Even though by putting yourself first, you're able to like do better with helping other people, you know? Because if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not gonna be able to take care of other people to the fullest potential that you can. It's kind of like loving yourself, right? I'm a firm believer that you do not have to completely love yourself to love other people. I feel like that's very ignorant way of thinking <laughs> because there are some like mental health disorders and illnesses and disabilities that can make you unable to do that but i do feel like under most circumstances if you're able to love yourself first it will allow you to love other people to your fullest potential of love you know what i mean because i think if you don't love yourself you kind of hold yourself back from loving people to the best of your abilities, you know? Because when you love yourself, you can really, really, really deeply love someone. So making sure to do things like washing your sheets, going to the gym, getting good sleep, taking care of yourself, and loving yourself, like taking good care of yourself and loving yourself, puts you in a better position to love other people and to love people more fully. I am on a self-love, self-care journey, and I'm taking you all with me because we are all gonna love ourselves so that we can love each other to the fullest. Okay, like for example, I kinda just wanna give an example to explain myself a little bit better, but for example, being able to love myself to the fullest and take care of myself helps me take better care of my babies, of these guys, because if I'm getting a good amount of sleep, if I'm eating properly, if I'm working out and getting that energy and feeling good about myself. Like for example, when I was in like the depths of my depression, my cats helped me a lot because even if I couldn't feed myself, I was able to get up and feed my cats, which is why I was saying you can still love other beings and other people without loving yourself. Like that's still possible. However, I just didn't have like energy to really do much. Like I just, I wasn't cleaning properly. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't taking care of the place, my environment that I was in, which was like unintentionally indirectly hurting my cats as well. Even though I was able to get up and like feed them, that was really all I could do was like feed them and if they came to me, I could like pet them and cuddle with them and stuff like that. And I would still take them to the vet obviously, but aside from that, like I was, I was doing like the bare, bare, bare minimum. But now that I have more energy and stuff like that, like I'm able to like play with them more often. Like I play with them all the time and they're clearly like a lot happier. I'm able to actually like build the cat trees that I buy. So I'm able to give them more places to play, give them more places to sleep. I don't know, I'm just able to give them like a lot more attention and a lot more love and care than I was beforehand. Even though I still loved them, I always loved them. It's not like I loved them any less. I'm able to show how much I love them a lot better now, a lot more efficiently. Hmm. Hello. That's kind of what I mean. You're able to show that you love people more to your fullest potential. The amount of love you have for someone, I don't think that's so much determined by like how much you love yourself. Maybe, I don't know. This is just my own point of view and like how I'm seeing it. Even though I don't love them any more or any less than I did before, now that I'm learning to sort of love myself more and take care of myself more, I'm able to show that I love them like really show how much I love them in a way that I couldn't when I was busy hating myself. Does that make sense? Anyway, I've been procrastinating for way too long. It's currently, it's almost 10, I believe. Yeah, it is 9.46 in the morning. I had a really good morning though. Sat on my balcony, got some good vitamin D in me, got some fresh air, which has been great. Like get, going outside in the morning, like just sitting on my balcony for a few minutes, even if it's as little as like five, 10 minutes helps so much like at my old apartment I would go weeks without going outside and like seeing the sun unless it was through my window Like I wouldn't even go on my balcony there. It was so bad This has been helping a lot along with the reading and the journaling journaling is great Like I'm really sticking to it I've tried journaling like multiple times before in the past But this is probably the longest I've really stuck with it in terms of journaling every day and night And it's been helping like and making it a habit because I feel really good after it like I'd be crying sometimes but it feels great. And this book is also helping. So like, I've just been, I don't know, I feel great. And I wanna like share that with you guys and hopefully I can help you guys feel a little bit better and we can all feel great together. Okay, I'm going to the gym. <laughs>
hands, but we all grow old Can't have my soul, let my heart turn stone Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught Yeah, I'ma take my chance till I drop mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space Okay Workout part two. I just installed, is that the word, like installed? I just put down uh, my new rug, got rid of the old one. But I felt like this rug just was a lot more colorful, a lot more nice, and kind of fit the vibe I'm going for a lot better. I'm still figuring out like what to do with this wall. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what kind of art I wanna put on here. Yeah, I just spent a good like 30 minutes doing that. I feel like it shouldn't have taken me 30 minutes, but it did. I gotta figure out what I want for breakfast. And then I might get a tattoo later. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. I have an idea of a tattoo that I really want. I don't know. I'm contemplating if I should go. Like, I'm gonna get it. I'm just contemplating if I should get it today. But right now, my problem is breakfast. I'm trying to think, like, what I could have. Hi, BB. Hi, BB. Say hello. <laughs> Looking be <pretty> cute. <laughs> so I just got this new, um, this new vitamin C serum that I really wanted to try. It's by Dear Claire's. Dear Claire's freshly juiced vitamin drop, pure vitamin C. Sounds pretty good. I showed this in my last video, but I have this little this little skincare fridge, which actually you guys are on top of right now, and I use this ice roller. Oh. It just feels so nice. You can comment and being like, oh my gosh, that's actually so bad for your skin. I don't know if I care because it feels amazing. And how can something that feels so good be bad for your skin? Mm. Feeling my skin has been looking really nice lately. Like, I don't know, my skin looks pretty nice. I'm happy about it. Oh my gosh, I love doing skincare. It makes me feel like so put together. So I have these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I'm gonna make some of these egg muffins. So I'm gonna make three of these and then I'm gonna have two pieces of toast. I'm gonna smash the egg muffins. So it's more like a scramble. I wanna add some cheese. Do I keep getting attracted to do 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 Salsa. This is the magic sauce. Mm. I love just eating a mush, maj posh of food. Ta-da! Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go eat this outside of my balcony. Cause it makes me, literally I like do it for the aesthetic. The only reason I make toast on the side is so I can have this maj posh slather it on. Mm. Mm. currently walking to the tattoo shop and it's only like a 15 20 minute walk so i figured you know i could i could do that walk i'm gonna get some tattoos or one or two or i, I, don't, I don't really know yet i'm literally picking tattoos as i walk so it's such a beautiful day outside so i figured i would like take advantage of that and go for a walk <laughs> excited. I'm back and I have finished with my tattoos. I love them. Here's one. Here's oh Anya. Here's one. It's just a tulip with a band-aid and I decided to get a tulip because my dad used to plant tulips like across our house. And then here's the the big reveal. Ooh. <laughs> I really really like it. It's Haku from Spirited Away. I love it. I ordered some dinner. I got some ramen. Mmm, it's really good. Let's go together. But there's a lot of like hiking places. What was that one place I told you? Like, it's skincare time, baby. The best part of the night. So for those of you that have not seen my previous video, let me just kind of run through a few things. This is um, what I've been using to take my makeup off. I just ordered a like makeup remover cleansing balm that I'm gonna be trying out soon. But for now, I've been using this anti Polyaging cleansing water. It works pretty well. I like it a lot. I usually go over my face once to take off all my makeup and then I'll go over it again. Kind of like double cleansing, I guess. Because you'd be surprised how much makeup gets left over, you know? So I take it off all my makeup, but now I'm just gonna get another cotton pad. Just go over again, especially around like the edges. See? Still got some stuff. 
It's good to kind of just go over it twice. And again, for those who didn't watch my last video, this is the cleanser I'm using. It's this Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser by Crave Beauty with a K. It's really nice. It's like this jelly. It feels more like a jelly cleanser, but it feels so nice. I'm gonna be using this Hyaluronic Acid. Mm. We gotta use the ice roller. Just amazing. This makes my skin feel so nice. Uh, I think I have a bug bite on my face or something. At the tattoo shop, they had like the doors open and I got eaten alive by some mosquitoes. This is a rice cream. I'm from, I think it's the brand. Now we just leave these on for like 10 minutes or so. And that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. We are on this self-love, self-care journey together, okay? I am taking you all with me. We are all gonna love ourselves so we can all love each other. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.